Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwadwin.com and in this video, we'll show you how to do undo via the Gboard keyboard on your Android phone. So as you might be aware, the Gboard does not have any undo option by default, but there exists a couple of nifty workaround using which you could easily get this job done. So let me show you, for instance, let me type in a word this. So the first way of doing an undo is just do a left first swipe on a delete key. So as you could see, this is the delete key. You will just have to do a left first swipe on this key. And as soon as you do so, you will get the last remove word in on the top menu bar of Gboard. As you could see, we are getting the this word. So simply tap on this and we get back the word which we have just removed. So all you have to do is simply a left swipe on the delete key and you will get back that word. For example, let's now type in users. So and now do a left first swipe as soon as you do so you will see that the last remove word will automatically appear in the top menu bar of gboard so just tap on it and you will get back the last remove word so this is one way of doing an undo the second way is actually adding an undo key so i found out that in the japanese keyboard of gboard version there is actually a undo button so all you have to do is simply add the japanese language as of now i'm using the English language so you just need to add the, add the Japanese language and then whenever you want to use the undo button just change the language to Japanese use the undo action and then come back to the default language it will only take a few seconds so let me show you how this could be done so first and foremost you will have to access the settings menu of Gboard so tap on the settings icon then go to languages then tap on add keyboard and select Japanese from here and then you will have to select this icon as shown here select it and then choose the first icon which starts with the number 12 and then tap on done with this we have added the japanese keyboard now go back again go back and now you should see this globe icon at the bottom just left of the space bar as you could see so now for instance let's type you could now type in anything you want this is android and if you ever want to and let's now remove it from here android so now if you want to do an undo then just hit the globe icon and as you could see the keyboard has been changed to japanese and we have an undo button at the top left so just tap on undo and we have got back the android word and now you could go back to the default keyboard via the globe icon once again and with this we are again back to the default english keyword this is the android version 14 so let's now remove the keyword version 14 and tap on the globe icon so we are again in the japanese and do an undo and we got back the version 14 which we have just removed so you could again now go back to the original keyboard via the globe icon and with this on a single tap you have got the undo button apart from that you could also change the, the location of this undo button so you could also access this undo by tapping on the keyboard icon at the bottom right so tap on it and from here also you could choose the Gboard and then use the undo button and then again tap on the keyboard icon and go back to your default language or apart from that you could also add this globe icon in the top menu bar so tap on the menu icon from here and then you will see the option of next language so drag it and drop it at the top and from now you will see the globe icon at the top menu bar so if you ever want to change the language you could simply tap on the globe icon from here and then get the job done as well so this is the globe icon and and you will get back the word as you could see from here and again tap on the globe and you will back to the default language so these were the two different methods using which you could bring back the or carry out the undo task on gboard if you have any queries or if you know of any other method of carrying out this task you'll, you'll let us know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching